What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. One common question that I receive is what camera setup do you use to film your videos? In this video, I'm going to share with you my extremely high-tech camera setup. First, I want to show you guys the new camera phone that I bought last February. Went in there and bought a new iPhone. I had $225 of gift cards, so the total came out to be around $1,300. So I can't wait to open up the iPhone for you guys to show it to you. I just came back from the Apple Store with my iPhone XS Max, and the protective glass and case came in today. So I'm all ready to go. All I need to do is transfer all my files from my iPhone 7 into my new iPhone. iPhone 7, you've served me really well and have endured so many drops and have not broken. And doesn't this look amazing? I got the clear case with the new gold color. I put on the tempered glass to protect it from all the falls and a nice clear case so I can enjoy the color. And I can't wait to use this phone. I know there are better cameras out there, but I just love Apple products. You guys see how often my camera gets hit and falls on the ground, which is at least once a month. What's crazy is that my iPhone 7 Plus has never cracked or dented. Part of this is the durable build of the iPhone. The other part is because of the screen protector and iPhone case that I use. I've been using those two specific brands for the last five years that I've been recording for my camera phone and my phone has never been damaged and I've never had any problems with those products. Now that you know what type of camera I use and how I protect it, Let's take a look at my tripod setup. I use an Amazon Basics 60 inch lightweight tripod, a square jellyfish tripod mount, and the most advanced stabilizing technology, which is the dishwashing sponges that I've cut up into squares. When I first started recording volleyball games, the ground would vibrate the tripod, which would make the video footage a little shaky. Placing sponges beneath the legs was the simplest solution I found for absorbing ground vibration. But if you have a better idea, then I'm happy to hear it. I tried investing in a higher quality and more expensive tripod last year because the cheaper tripods kept getting beat up and breaking from getting hit and knocked over by the volleyballs. 
but the expensive tripod still got knocked down and damaged and was too bulky to travel with. I decided to go back to the cheaper tripod because it's smaller and easier to travel with and just be okay with replacing it every year. As you can see, I have a pretty simple camera setup that's inexpensive, portable, and effective, all for under $100. If you want to purchase any of the equipment that you saw in this video, then check out the links in the description box because I highly recommend them if you plan on recording your own footage. So what's next for Elevate Yourself videos? I do plan on shooting a few videos in 4K, incorporating more HD slow motions, and experimenting with different camera angles and storytelling techniques. I also plan on buying a gimbal as well, so if you have any recommendations on one, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.